today I'm going to be showing uh, massage bars, uh, kind of a time capsule of massage bars, and uh, this is a, it's a crazy amount of massage bars that we have here, and I'm going to just go through them all. Uh, they're all lush massage bars, and um, some of them are so yummy, I just have to tell you guys what they're like. Okay, some of them you probably already have seen. Um, for instance, here is, it's a mushed up, <laughs> it's, a, it's melted a little bit, it's called um, Sore Labors Balm Massage Bar, and it's in the shape, it should be of a bee, and like I say, this one's kind of squishy. I'll show you what the, this is what the wrapped one looks like, and here it goes right here. And it's a it's a square, and then it has a raised B on it for uh, for the word bomb, I guess, or the word BB. I'm not sure because the Italian name for this massage bar used to be BB. So this one smells like cinnamon, clove, just a, a spicy. Yumminess. It's it's sort of a, a a spicy bakery kind of a smell going on. One of my favorites. Um, right up there with one of my favorites. If you guys like, um, if any of you like Skinny Dip or um, uh, maybe Bathos or even Wiki Magic Muscles or um, those kinds of things, you probably like Sore Labors Bomb. I mean, it doesn't sound like it would be yummy with the word sore labors balm on it, but it very much is a yummy. Highly suggest you get one if you can. Okay, that's one. <laughs> okay, here we go. This one is called, um, this one's called Lamage. And this may still be out even, I'm not sure. Um, but it's in the scent as honey I wash the kids soap it's a so it's kind of a toffee-ish um, scent and it's um, for those of you who like uh, it's raining men same scent so if you like it, it raining men you'd love Limange that's not uh, made anymore but someday they may make this for us from the um, for retro stuff okay here's a uh, Here's another one called Cosmic Dream Catcher, and it's a yellow-orange bar. This is, I cut half of it off already, and it's got um, round circles there. And this one is a, um, it's either a love it or a hate it kind of a massage bar. And it's more of a sort of a spicy... And it almost smells like peanuts to me, but I, I know there's no peanuts in it. Um, it's very green. Um, there might be sage in it. I'm not sure. So um, some people like this a whole lot because it is such a almost incense smell, and some people don't didn't like this too much because of that. But that is Cos Cosmic Dream Catcher Massage Bar. Okay, what else do we have here? Um, here is a Merry Christmas massage bar that everyone loves. And here's some more Christmas massage bars. I'll show them to you. There was a soap called Bob Soap in, I don't know, 2007, something like that. And uh, people loved it. And this is the massage bar that also has the same name and I think I have it upside down <laughs> and it's the Merry Christmas massage bar and it has a little brown um, chunks in there it's got it's white chocolate orange is what it's supposed to be and it's got some spices in there maybe some um, nutmeg or cinnamon for Christmas or something like that and an and a orange and white chocolate it's so yummy, and it's it was hysterically popular, and it still is. I think people are still searching for these on eBay and stuff. And, and I know why, because they're right up there with one of my favorite Lush Massage Bars. So that's how it normally looked like. <clears throat> and then there's, you know, like this one. 
which is um, different looking. You can see the difference here. I don't know why that is, but there is quite a difference in the same massage bar. I've got them in two different places, is probably what it is. And here's a heart shaped, heart shaped uh, Merry Christmas massage bar. And it smells so good. It smells very foody and dessert like. And here's another one. I think that's one. No, uh, that's. I'm not sure which this is. I can't really read it. But, yeah, I guess this this is a this is a Merry Christmas massage bar. There's another one right there. You can see it. This is Merry Christmas. Okay. So that's Merry Christmas massage bar from Lush. And. Let's go to my one of my favorites. This one is Fever Massage Bar. And Fever has, they made it to have the same fragrance as their Mirror Mirror Neck Cream, um, which is rose and sandalwood and jasmine. Um, this is how their massage bars used to look um, in the 90s and early 2000s. They were look like little um, sweets that you'd find, little desserts that you'd find at a, at a restaurant. And um, the scent of it is such a strong, incredibly strong rose scent. It's, it's, and it's a real rose scent. So it's like you, you've got your face in like maybe five or six um, dozen roses just right here. That's what it smells like. And I just love it. Years later, they changed the formula a bit, or the look of it rather, not the formula, um, so that now it has the the lips on the massage bar. Um, I liked either one. I think the lips were cute. I think I would actually prefer this one though, because it looks so like much like a dessert. And back in the day, Les used to make uh, all their massage bars look kind of like kind of like dessert. Here's a chocolate one. Here's Fever. So when those were together, they looked really, really yummy. Okay. So those two are Fever. And here's a bit of Fever soap. So I have all those together in one. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Next is Absolution. And Lush had this out, and I think. 2006, I think, and this was was one of my favorite bars also, and still is, and uh, it's called Absolution, and which means you know forgiveness basically, and there's the little dove, and uh, man, this is so good. It, this has oh, this was one of the first things that I recall Lush putting uh, tonka bean in. So this has uh, tonka bean and then uh, some green smelling uh, pro, um, green smelling ingredients. I can't remember right now. I think one of them is sage. Um, there may even be some other green part. And then there's a slight I don't know what it is. Maybe a slight lavender scent uh, or something like that. And then this vanilla. And it's so good. So, Fever and um, Absolution are one of my favorite things. And you just rub them. Let's show you the consistency here. And they're, they're pretty hard. You can knock on them. As opposed to the new... Uh, and this isn't because they're old. It's just because all of these that have the same um, original formula are harder, harder bars. So you can really grab them and rub them all over. And then the new ones, which I'll show you, are much softer. I, uh, in one of my other YouTube videos, I showed this new Valentine's 2013 massage bar called Tender as the Night. And it's got, I couldn't bag it against my hand because it, the new formula is so soft. It's just, uh, just a very light and uh, mushy. And you have to be careful with that too because it comes apart really easy. 
here um, here's black magic uh, or two <laughs> and uh, black magic has sage and chocolate and um, I can't remember what else but those are the two primary uh, ingredients it may be violet sage and uh, and chocolate but I don't know. It's definitely sage and chocolate. And initially I didn't really like this because it's so herby and I was expecting it to be much more chocolatey. But, you know, I've since learned the different things that Lush makes with chocolate. And, and so I appreciate the, the sage in this actually now. And so the next ones, speaking of chocolate, these are the uh, Choco Lala massage bars. I have, a, I have a few of these, and uh, let me show them to you. Here's one, and these came out, and they have a little icing drip of white chocolate right in the middle normally, um, but I have used this, so that piece of white chocolate in the middle has since come completely off, so that's what the chocolate looks like and like I say there's a little drip there and it used to be uh, I think now when they're selling it on retro it's just completely smooth and round all the way and um, it used to be that they had a kind of a little tiered effect um, where if I can find the uh, other one I just showed you you can see it but um, still very good and this had um, violet and chocolate and um, it was really good it stick, tended to stay in the sheets, you know, if you, I mean, they come out in the wash, but um, just be advised if you have light sheets and you're using this, um, it makes brown, brown um, smears. And so as long as you know that you're dealing with the chocolate massage bar and wash it later, you're good. Here's another um, type of massage bar such as that that looks like a little dessert. And this one's called... Um, Okay, what is this called now? Um, I have to figure out what this is called. Um, these started out looking like like exactly the same. And um, this is white chocolate with a little dribble of dark chocolate in there. And um, you can tell I'm scaring my brain to the name of this. And uh, I believe this has some orange and white chocolate. And see what I mean with the with the little uh, sort of tear up here, and then a divot, and then the little um, icing thing of chocolate. So it has a tapered kind of look. And I will figure out the name of this. I can't believe I can't remember it because it's. I uh, think okay. I'm getting it. Mont Blanc. That's what this is called. Mont Blanc massage bar, and it does, in fact, I remember have a uh, white chocolate and um, a little bit of orange blossom, I believe, and and uh, it's so yummy. That's another one of the yummy foodie massage bars, Mont Blanc, and it's been around, or it was out, um, I would say maybe in 2006. Here's another one of those kind of dessert-looking massage bars. This one is called Cherry Ripe, uh, until I sliced a bit of it off. And it's another one of those round dessert-like massage bars. Inside it's got cherries, and it's white chocolate and currants, um, or cassis. Currant is the um, ingredient that gives the comforter its scent. So imagine, you know, sort of a white chocolatey scent mixed with a little bit of maybe the comforter and then a, a couple of Morella cherries in here. So this is called Cherry Ripe Massage Bar and uh, if you like the comforter you'll love this. This is right up there again with one of my favorite massage bars. So we've got Chocolala, Cherry Ripe, and Mont Blanc which are all the same kind of uh, mold, the same kind of uh, shape. And let's see what else here. Okay, and we have two of those little, there's another cherry ripe. And then these are in uh, really great shape. They're still very soft and luscious with the cherries and stuff. 
Okay. So we're slowly getting through these in record time. So let's see what else we have here. I believe this is a Heaven Heaven Vanilla. And uh, this is in the um, vanilla vanillary scent that Lush has. It's uh, uh, just vanilla and talking about, you know, bakery type smells. This is lovely. This came out for uh, Valentine's, as you can see. And it's just so yummy. Who would not want to massage, have their bodies massaged with this vanilla loveliness? I don't know. Because this is so pretty. One of the prettier massage bars from Lush. And that's Heavenelli. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Let me put that back here. Okay. And speaking of which ones came out for Valentine's Day, so far the ones I've showed you, uh, that Heavenelli is the only one that has come out for Valentine's Day in the past. Um, here's this one called Soft Curve. And it's a um, heart-shaped massage bar, as you can see. And it has a, a sort of a white chocolate, toffee chocolate um, scent. It's a, it smells to me like um, very foody, again. And it smells kind of like It's Raining Men or Honey, I Wash the Kids um, with that sort of... Uh, toffee, orange, chocolatey kind of goodness. And so that, uh, this one actually didn't come out for Valentine's Day. It came out uh, one one spring or one winter and uh, it was just heart shaped just because. And um, so that's really cute. I think maybe it would come back for retro and they also made it in a heart shape like this. I can't imagine this one being anything else but a heart shape. Um, other heart-shaped things. Uh, this is called It's a Pleasure Treasure. And uh, it's also heart-shaped. And uh, this one, it, everyone that I remember reading who's tried this massage bar claims that it smells like corn chips. <laughs> um, you know, corn chips that you eat. And I don't find it to quite like corn chips, but it's it's pretty bland. There's really, um, I don't know, there's sort of like a, a, a cornmeal smell about them. Um, it has some, some red or pink, uh, I don't know, some kind of fruity ingredient or something. And um, it is also in the shape of a heart. And this is the same version of this, except this one has glitter. So this was in a one of the gift sets, I believe. Let me see if I can show you the glitter. There it is. So it's kind of covered all over with this um, gold glitter. And this is a Pleasure Treasure Lush Massage Bar. So let me put all of the heart-shaped ones back away. And then we've got little baby ones, too. I'm going to show you the camera real quick. We've got um, not only the big shaped hearts, but the little ones and their baby soft cur. And uh, some of them are wrapped, some of them are not. So those are really cute. Chocolate massage bar. So I'm going to put those away. Okay, um, now we're getting into some other kinds or shapes of massage bars. And this is called Therapy. This is one of the one of the longest lasting, um, you know, original massage bars that Lush sells. Uh, they've been selling Therapy since 2002, since I've been buying Lush, and perhaps before my time as well. So it's a real popular one. Um, I like it too. If you like citrus. This would be the massage bar for you. It's got orange um, and, and lemon, I believe, and uh, maybe a little bit of some herbal goodness in there. So, very citrus orangey therapy is, and um, I like it. Okay, here is, um, what 
is this called? Amazonian, as I recall. It's called Amazonian Massage Bar. Um, you can see why it might be called Amazonian because it's, uh, it's pretty huge <laughs> comparatively. And Amazonian, there for a while it was one of my favorite massage bars. Uh, it's an, you know, it was being sold in 2002 and they stopped selling it in 2006 or something like that. And this had every kind of scent in it. It had that kind of foodie scent, but it also had this incense -y quality to it. So it was a more sort of, and, and, and floral too, so it was a little bit more sensual. Uh, maybe it had some jasmine in there too, as I recall, and a little bit of incense -y and it It was um, more sort of um, sexy and, and more feminine and kind of floral. Um, and it's just... The best thing in the world, if you can find Amazonian, a fresh piece, I highly suggest it because it was ravingly popular. Let's see, we've got Bewitched massage bar here, and uh, Bewitched has lime, lime, and um, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, it has violets too. Um, and lime and other herbs and it's a nice clean herbal but but yet it's a little bit sweet and feminine still so if you like um, less foodie scents and non florals this would be the one for you it's not citrus it's not floral it's more um, herby and it's um, pretty relaxing this one, I'm trying to remember what the name of this one is. Um, this was discontinued like back in 2002 or three, and I just cannot remember the name of it. It's got little bumpies, and then it's got these adukey beans in it, and it seeds for scrubbiness effect. Uh, kind of like Wiki Magic Muscles is the same, but it has clove clove seeds in it. Okay, so this one has a dookie beans and um, it's so it's very exfoliating and it's not really a it's more like an herbal or green scent with this one as well and I think this is called Into Thin Air if I'm not mistaken and meaning you know if you have bumpy skin or um, this can uh, make them go into thin air. Poof. So that's this Lush Massage Bar. And there are two or three Lush made that were kind of nubby like this. There's Therapy. Um, this is a new new um, um, mold, new design. And then uh, Wiki Magic Muscles, which is here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Oh, I'm, I'm wrong. Wiki Magic Muscles is round. And it has all the cloves sticking out of it. So it's not this snubby one, like Bewitched and Into Thin Air. Um, this is the Wiki Magic Muscles. And this one is uh, cloves, 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 cloves. If you, you know, it's like getting cloves and just smelling a jar of cloves. So it's very spicy and it's really good for when you're aching because of exercising or running and you, you need something sort of heating for your muscles. This is the one. Also, if it's really cold outside, this would probably be a good one to use too. Alrighty, and we're getting, we're getting somewhere here, we're making progress. This one is called, oh, I hope I remember, what is, this one is called Sleepy Moon, I think. God lush, don't hate me, because I, I might just be totally <laughs> making that up, but I, I think it has something to do with, something, Dream time or the moon or something, and it has lavender in it to to uh, promote sleep, and um, it's a really cute, of course, moon and uh, planet kind of a shape. And I really wish I I could remember the name of it, but I'm pretty sure it has the the word moon in it. And it's uh, lavender, so it's herby. It's also, it's not uh, very strong. It's sort of softly herbal. And um, 
What else do we have here? We have, here is the, the uh, Glitter Bug Massage Bar. Uh, let's see if you can see the, I'm trying to get the shimmer on it. I don't know if you can see it. And um, that's why it's called Glitter Bug Massage Bar, because it's got a crazy amount of pretty glitter on it and um, it's got a neroli and vanilla kind of scent to me um, there's a, a forum favorite lotion that they made called glitter bug lotion which is in the same fragrance and this was discontinued I believe um, many years ago so that's a pretty one if, you, if you're going out clubbing or something that might be one that you want to use because it has lots of sprinkle or excuse me lots of sparkle to it. Alrighty, let's see what, what else is here. We're getting there. Um making sure I've gotten through everything. Okay, here's one uh, for Valentine's Day that's wrapped and it's called um, Play Your Cards Right. And as I recall this it has the same scent of Sex Bomb Ballistic from Lush. And uh, one Valentine's Day, I think it was 2008, Lush made a massage bar that looks like a playing card, like the Two of Hearts. And it's called Play Your Cards Right. And it has the Sex Bomb fragrance. Uh, so it's really floral and really sexy floral, strong. And it's just a beautiful massage bar. It's cream colored and it has uh, the little hearts like a, a, a two of hearts playing card. And uh, it's very fragrant. You'd love this. Okay. That one was for also for Valentine's Day. Here's one called uh, After 8.30. And this is a chocolate and mint massage bar. Um... It's got a chocolate, in the, in the wiki, it's called PB Works, so it's Lush PB Works wiki. Um, they ha I have a picture of this with, a, with uh, another one, and it's completely unwrapped, and you can see how it looks like a dessert. It comes in a foil wrapper. It's uh, this color, but then it has this chocolate layer on the top in a kind of a quilt pattern, and this is another one of those. Um, massage bars that I was telling you about that if I can get them together here that look like you know um, where are the other ones ah I'll hold on for a minute so I can find things again so I'm just totally losing track okay so let's do dessert right we do a dessert show. so we've got this and we've got this and then we've got this and then we've got this and we've got this. Um, so it's like it's dessert, basically. <laughs> we've got white chocolate, we've got dark chocolate, we've got cherries, we've got we've got mint, we've got orange blossom and banana white chocolate. Okay, so that was that was after 8.30. And I don't know, the ones they sell, I think, on Retro now are, uh, uh, I don't know if they have the quilted chocolate design with the diamonds, and I don't know if they come in the, the foil, or this is the original packaging, so I think they're um, um, half, just half chocolate and half white. And same smell, chocolate mint. Here is another one for Valentine's Day. And I believe this one is perhaps Valentine's Day um, 2008, perhaps. And uh, they s were selling them again this, um, this retro Valentine's Day. And it's just, it's strawberry. I don't know if some of you remember a shower gel and it, a forum favorite shower gel that was made around 2006 or 2007. And it was called Yummy, Yummy, Yummy. And it was a strawberry, thick strawberry um, um, scent. This is exactly the same. 
It smells so good. So, if you like strawberries, and it, isn't it cute? I mean, who doesn't like this? <laughs> um, the other things that go with this that are this exact same scent are Mrs. Whippy, which is a ballistic from a couple of years ago. And um, there's another one. Oh, um, the bubble bar that's called Magic Mushroom, and it came out for Valentine's Day, is also the same scent. So there's a good four or five products that have the same exact scent. And so that's uh, Strawberry Feels Forever. So it's a play on a John Lennon and the Beatles song called Strawberry Fields Forever. And yes, this certain strawberry would feel like forever. It's so good. It's yummy. And it's not overpowering. And it's just, just right. Okay, here's uh, some Valentine's 2013 products. This one is called Tender is the Night, and it's very delicate. It's very melty, much more soft than any of these because it's a new formula, and it has the smell. It's It has the um, same smell is, is kind of... Um, I can't remember what ballistic I'm talking about, but it's it's um, kind of a strawberry-like, or maybe it's more jasmine than vanilla, and it's the jasmine's really light and toned down. For those of you who don't really like jasmine a whole lot, this is very very light and and a tad sweet, and it's just really beautiful and girly and and light. Here's another one for Valentine's Day 2013. This one's called From Dusk Till Dawn. And um, it looks, it's a cone. And there's a little bit of gold, I don't know if you can see it, gold sparkly stuff on there. And this one smells more of orange, mm, mandarin oil, and uh, um, orange oil and lemon is what is in this, in the ingredients list. And so naturally, it would be one of my favorites. Mm. I love both of these. I think Lush really overdid themselves as far as these two um, new Valentine's 2013 massage bars. Here's one that is uh, called Undercover. And this is, uh, I guess, Lush North America, which actually um, comes from Lush Canada, is where the factory is for Lush North America, and in Canada they had a, uh, a series of the show called Undercover Bosses, which uh, airs here in America, and uh, I guess they had an, uh, maybe a Lush shop, I think, that was featured or shown in one of the last... Um, shows which was called Undercover Boss Canada and so they made a um, very limited edition uh, only for 24 hours in the shops a massage bar called um, Undercover and it's a gorgeous 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 pink it's a oval shaped like therapy and it has the scent of um, kisses the lip balm for Valentine's 2013 um, I can't remember what it's called, but I know it's, it has the word kisses in the lip balm, and it's, it has the same scent. This was made in the same scent as the lip balm, and it's just very, very light, and it's beautiful. It's, it's not too anything. It's not too girly. It's not too sweet. It's not too floral. It's not to anything. It's, it's not too fruity. It's it's a soft feminine scent. It's almost like a very light vanilla and maybe a, a little a little bit of orange and uh, um, what else? Some little floral in there. And it's kind of the smell of this, but maybe with a tad more of a orange oil in it perhaps. Very light soft floral. I highly suggest that you get one of these. So, these are the ones, Lush Massage Bars, that I've used through the years, and you can tell the ones that I really liked, I still have, because I bought two of them. So, 
of these all that I have, I would say this is right up there as one of the best ones. This one is up there as one of the best ones. This one is right up there with my best, my favorite massage bars. This one is on that list too. Um, Cherry Ripe. Mont Blanc. Chocolala. Fever. Absolution. And Amazonian. And oh yes, and the uh, Merry Christmas. And uh, the uh, Sword Labor's Bomb that's around here somewhere. Those. Those are the uh, my favorites of all the Lush bar, uh, massage bars that I've tried. So, all right, that's about it then. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe. And um, if you click on my name, you can see uh, my other videos. I think I have about 40 in here, um, 40 Lush videos. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or if there's something else you'd like to see. And uh, so, again, that was a uh, Lush handmade cosmetics massage bars from 2002 to 2013. Okay, thanks. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.